<laughs> so welcome everyone welcome to our um conversations around the entity world conversations around hi suganda conversations around the spirit kingdom conversations around what does the spirit kingdom the entity world really mean to you so i would love to start our call tonight by actually getting you all to get present with what is your what is your reality with the entity world any form of feedback would be really great written or audio can i say something yes please go for it so for me <clears throat> for, for the longest time there i've kind of been aware of these other presences around me uh, i know that i always started off with a sense of fascination because there was just a mm -hmm. sense of something that was the beyond mm -hmm. and while i didn't have a name for it and i know that for me that sense with them is that these are just fragment souls you know mm -hmm. and um, i've not really ever had the sense of i just have a kind of sense of comfort and ease with them i'm like yeah okay fine if they yeah. come to me they have an ask can i'm okay for you know to ask them what is their ask and what do they require mm -hmm. um, and that's the thing that i've kind of and because of the other work that i do working with entities is something that uh, you know uh, comes with comes ease actually yeah uh, comes with ease for one of the things that i found that when i read or first heard about talk to the entities in um, access i had a huge point of view with it because it said about how it can contribute that you can ask for them and uh, i was like so that for me i think and that's what's brought me here because that's something that i want to explore you know because mm -hmm. most of what i have worked with has been about clearing them and releasing them and you know uh, letting them be also at some stages but yeah. contribution or asking them to actually participate that's what's brought me here wow that's amazing thank you for that i love that contribution cooperation receiving are all elements of your being the inclusion with the entity world you know like when you said that it generally clear them so that's these are the different elements that we have with the entity world you know we clear them or we communicate with them or we cooperate with them or we receive from them right <clears throat> so when you look at the energy that you just brought up it's so amazing because clearing them comes really naturally to each one of us it's like oh okay finally i can get rid of them it's almost like oh i can exclude them <laughs> i have the tool now i can be the one in control but so the the space of clearing the entity world the entities around you and you know whichever ones need to be cleared comes from the space of your being a gift you know namita when she spoke about i can i can clear them it comes from the space of i know i am a gift to them that's so beautiful because how many of you have not even acknowledged that you are a gift to them each time that you clear them each time that you keep your business hours you're not just doing it for yourself even if you tell you yourself that i'm just doing this for myself you you also include the gift that you're being in that moment and everything that doesn't allow you to know be perceive and to receive and to acknowledge the gift that you be that you destroy and create that right and wrong good and bad hot and pock on nine shots boys for what and beyond so when we clear them we actually are willing to acknowledge their very presence which pretty much often goes um unacknowledged by most of us like we don't even acknowledge the presence of the entity world we don't even acknowledge the presence of an entity or a spirit trying to get through to us we make it about ourselves we make it more about i have pain or i can't sleep or i i i just ate so much or i just don't i don't know why i do binge drinking you know we go into all these things but it's all about us 
And in that moment, we actually exclude the spirit kingdom because we don't ask, is this mine? Is it, who does this belong to? Is this somebody else's, something else's, or is this an entity's? So how many of you have had ease with clearing of entities? I mean, if you've done your foundation, you've got the basic tools of the talk to the entities. And if you've done the talk to the entities class, the two-day class, you have all the clearings in the manual. And if you've done the intermediate class, you have even more available to you now. The question here is how many of you have ease with wonderful? Thank you, Suganda. Yeah, we have ease with clearing. Thank you, Namita. Yeah. Who else has ease with keeping their business hours, clearing? <clears throat> business hours is something often people find very difficult to, to keep to. So how many of you really have ease with that? I'm I'm doing the business hours, but I'm mm -hmm. really not feeling anything I'm just yeah yeah so when you're not feeling anything is it what you're perceiving that you're trying to make solid yeah maybe. yeah sweetheart what you as an infinite being what you be during the clearing of the entities communication with the entities cooperation or receiving you're actually, there's a lot of perceiving that you're being. You're being the infiniteness. You're being the, the gift. You cannot be a gift if you're feeling. You just separate it from being the gift that you be. So when you're actually not feeling and you're clearing, there's no proof there. There's no, um, there's no justification. There's no explanation. Sometimes it's a very cognitive conversation and you clear a person and you communicate with the entities and you, you know, it's very cognitive and it's very clear. And you're like, oh, I got this information. It was, you know, it was really clear. So you can kind of hold on to a fragment of proof there. And sometimes there is just no energy of, there is just absolutely nothing that's solid. It's literally like you get up and you don't even remember what you did. I mean, how many of you have kept your business hours? How many of you have cleared entities? And then when you actually want to look at it again, you can't find it. Because that's the lightness of what you perceived. And you were just being with the perception. You were being with that. So the entity was actually receiving from who you were being. So everywhere it's really important, significant, vital, to feel what you're doing when you're when you're keeping your business hours instead of perceiving what you know is true would you destroy and uncreate that right and wrong good and bad pot and pock nine shots boys poets and beyonds everywhere it's really essential to prove to yourself that you did something with the entity world <laughs> All the presumpt, all the presumptive realities, and the need of the reactive realities with the entity kingdom. Would you please destroy and uncreate that? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock are nine shots, boys, forwards, and beyonds. Where there is a presumptive reality, there is a need. There is a need to justify, to give a reason where you can tell yourself this is because this happened. So, you know, I did the business hours and it worked because, oops, presumptive reality. Or when you go to proving that, now the need of a reactive reality. And Chandra, for some of you, this may sound really, yeah, I just come to you, Namika. For a few of you, this may sound really bizarre and this conversation may just be going through, going above your head because this conversation is, these terms, these words that I'm using are really fresh, straight out of the oven, just baked. <laughs> In the process, we are getting baked and fried too. Well, but, 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 but a big beauty is changing this reality. <laughs> Yeah, Namita. I'm so sorry uh, to have interrupted you. No, not so at all. I don't please. know what, what business hours is. Mm -hmm. I don't even have know what the time means. Have you done the talk to the entities class? 
No. Beginnings? No. Okay. Not really. So, okay. So, Talk to the Entities Beginnings has a section in it called Business Hours, which is, um, which we talk a lot more in detail in the class, but it's it's the time, it's the time, it's a, it's the hours or it's the minutes or it's the seconds that you take out okay. for the entity world. Okay. okay. Right? Good. Yeah. And it's really simple and easy and not complicated at all. <laughs> we do have a business hours call coming up, but the prereq for that is the talk to the entities beginnings. And we also have a talk to the entities intermediate class coming up. For that, the prereq is talk to the entities beginning and the foundation within one year. Just to put it out there for you, if you're looking for one, and it's always good to have the information. Yeah. So who else? And I will come to your uh, Namita about the cooperation and the and the receiving. I will get to that. But did anyone else like to share what their uh, reality is with the entity world? Anyone? Anybody else who would like to share that? And is there fear? Uh, is there ease? Yes, my dear. Yeah, I wanted to share an experience that I have uh, had actually after the talk to the entities, and I did it with you. I I used I uh, had eczema, uh, you know, and I have been trying too many things. Uh, and but when I used to keep the business hours, and when I did that, the eczema actually uh, it subsided. Yeah. And now I again realize I have not been keeping the business hours, so um, the eczema has come up. It just flared up again. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Kavita. Now, what Kavita just shared was we did the talk to the entities about six years back. Kavita was it five years back, many well, years back. I, I thought, was it four yeah, years back? I, I don't know. Was it three years back? Whatever. For me, it's like I have no, no, no idea of time whatsoever because two years have gone in COVID, right? <laughs> yeah. And at that time, I remember Kavita coming to class with a, with the main complaint of having eczema right across her neck and shoulders and face and stuff. And uh, I do remember second day itself, there was a difference in her body, in her face. And I remember her texting me and saying, eczema is almost 75 to 80% okay with just the business hours. And yes, thank you for that, Kavita. It had slipped out of my mind. Yeah, that change was phenomenal. It was so instantaneous. It was absolutely brilliant. And this is what you want to look at. But how often is, you know, it's, it's you don't have eczema because of entities, okay? It's not like you have eczema because of the entities. You, you Eczema is something that's showing up in your body as you're resisting the communication that the entities would like to have with you. Maybe just in the form of awareness that, hey, I'm here. Maybe in the form of, hey, would you please clear my, uh, would you please clear my, clear me from this, from this world that I seem to be stuck in? Or maybe they're here to say, hey, I'm your granddad, or hey, I'm your dad, or hey, I'm your friend, and I just came to say bye. But you know, when you're not listening to them, it shows up in different ways in the body. Like in Kavita's case, it showed up as very severe eczema. And she and Kavita, if I don't, if I remember correctly, you were also on a lot of medication, right? At that time, creams and stuff that you were on. No, no, I was not on medication, but it was just there, and I was okay with. Uh, I I thought it is not going to be cured. I I had. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There was some. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And that that just changed. So she had kind of accepted I have this problem and this is not going to go but with her just acknowledging the entity world you know just being like okay I'm going to keep my business hours and now what starts to happen is how often humanoids get bored of keeping business hours they're like oh I've kept it for so many years I've kept it for so many months who's going to do it forget it like a sweet Kavita she said ah, I've done it enough <laughs> eczema has gone who's going to do it now <laughs> So it's come back again as a reminder now. Like it's, it comes back only simply because you're not listening to the entities. Like, you know, when Namita talked about communication and uh, talked about cooperation and she talked about receiving and communicating with them, this is what it is. They communicate differently with you. They could communicate with you through um, 
you know, a, a, a gentle, a gentle touch on the face, which could feel like a scratch, or it could feel like being itchy on the face. It could be like, I don't know why my skin's itchy, just like that, you know, it could be so subtle, or it could be like, God, my head hurts. You know, it could be, it could be a pounding, or it could also be, I got a drink, I got a drink, I got a drink, I got a drink, I got a drink. Or it could be, I got to fight now, I got to fight now, I got to fight with this person now, now, now. All of this, when you have that, that, um, that force where you have to do something now, a lot of times it's not yours. Who does this belong to? Is this mine? Is this somebody else's? Is this an entity? Is this the earth asking for a contribution? You want to go into question there. And the thing is, most of us go into reaction, which is what, like, you know, after, after using the tools of access for almost eight, nine years now, I, have, I was like, hmm, I think I'm pretty good, you know, I'm pretty sorted now. Till this damn need of reactive realities was thrown at us. <laughs> and I got to acknowledge I have a very, 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 very long way to go. <laughs> Still very much living in the reactive reality. And, you know, looking and the, the beauty is now with the need of the reactive reality that's actually coming up, you're actually looking at where we are in reaction. You know, we're actually willing to look at, okay, if I didn't react here, what could show up? Every, everything that you have made vital, valuable and real about the need of the reactive reality with the entity world Will you all destroy and uncreate that? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, online shots, boys, provides and beyonds. How often have you created the need of reactive reality with the entity world that has you creating dis-ease in your body, unease in your body, conflicts with family, conflicts with in relationships, conflicts with yourself? What if all of that is, is the need to have a reactive reality with the entity kingdom. And everything that brought up, did you destroy and uncreate that, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, bottom box, online shots, voice, forwards, and beyonds. Yes, my dear Radhika, and then I will come to the questions in the chat. So, two things. Hello. Thank you, Chanda, for this call. Hi. You're Hi. welcome, my dear. Um, I wanted to ask you two things. One, so I was playing with this tool of communication with entities. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I don't know how to do that. And universe, what it take from that to show up and ping so hard that I can't ignore to a certain point. Um, what has happened is that uh, on my wall, here, this side, there are these marks which are coming mm -hmm. and they're just increasing. And I know it's very random. It can't be somebody doing it and there is no water thing. In fact, Three days back, only there's another one which has been added. So these mm -hmm. lines which keep coming. I know. So is that an en is that an entity? Is that something to do with the entities? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Or okay, let's also ask you another question here. Is that something your house wants you to know? Yes or no? Maybe. Yes or no? No. It's... No. Yes. No. Yes. No. No sounds lighter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you decided it's about the entities? Yeah, right. that could be a point. Yeah, you may have yeah. concluded. So every okay. everywhere, all the presumptive realities and the need of the reactive realities with everything that's happening around you that keeps you in the point of view that this has to be with the entities, would you destroy and I'll create that? Yes. I yeah. think it's that part park online shots, boys, forwards, and beyonds. Something that I, I heard Shannon once say, which really changed the way I be with the entity world, is that the talk to the entities is just another tool, just the way who does this belong to is, just the way contribution to the earth is, just the way asking a question like, what's the value of this is, it's not any more significant. You must ask in that moment, is this anything to do with the entity kingdom instead of Assuming that it's something to do with the entities. If you really want to be free, you've got to always ask the question, is this anything to do with the entity kingdom? Is this something to do with the entities? Or is this something else? 
So even house is an entity. So if what if the house yeah. is communicating with exactly that? Thank you for that. So now is this a communication that your house would like to have with you? Yes. Okay. Is this for you or somebody else? Heavy light, I don't know, John. I'm like totally lost. Okay. I got my mind already. All right. Is this for you? Yes or no? Is it for me? Yes. No. No is heavy. Yes is lighter. Okay. So now you want to be in the question of, okay, house, what do you want me to know? What do you want me to know? What do you want me to know? Your house is an entity, your business is an entity, your body is an entity, all embodied. The entity world, which is the quote-unquote ghosts and spirits, they're the disembodied entities. But they're still entities, right? So now ask the house, house, what do you want me to know? Can you show me? Can you show me? Can you, can you bring me the information, please? I'm willing to receive. Right and wrong, feeling bad, bottom pocket, nine shots, voice, for what's and beyond. Did you sense the energy that just changed? It is, and I can already perceive a headache coming. Yeah. yeah, something just shifted massively. How does it get any better? Thank you for your question, my dear. Thank you. Be in that, be in that, and I wonder what can change. All right, so now when we talk about, um, you know, communicating cooperating with the entity kingdom. This, what I just did with Radhika, is communicating and cooperating with the entities embodied, right? Embodied, because the house has a form and a structure. It's got, you know, it's got the cement, and it's got the bricks, and it's got the walls, and it's got whatever. Now, what if you could do the same and be the same with the disembodied entities? Or where you could just ask them a question like, hey, are you here for me or are you here for someone else? Do you want to be cleared? Do you want to receive? Do you want to gift? Do you want to cooperate in this creation? Right and wrong, good and bad, bottom block, online shots, voice, forwards and beyonds. Everywhere you are all sensing the entities in your world just now. How many of you are sensing them right now in your world? Yeah, yeah, thank you. <sighs> and could you please ask them to show you what's true for you? You know, one of the most beautiful um, experiences I have had with cooperation with the entity world has been um, one of the times when I was actually flying to, I don't remember the city now, it was in some, some place in India I was flying to. And while I, was, while I was in the flight, I reached out to the land of the city and I asked for the land of the city, the entity of the land to cooperate with me. I was going for a class. I had one person signed up and had one person on the fence and I didn't really have a point of view about, oh, there's only one person. I really didn't have that point of view, but I did, I was asking for greater. I was asking for more possibilities. I was asking for more magic. I was asking for receiving, way more receiving, you know, way, 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 way more receiving. And I asked the land for the cooperation. And I, you know, literally, I literally reached out to the being of the land and I was like, hey, can you cooperate with this creation of mine? Are you willing to have me? What if I'm not coming as a threat? What if I'm, if I'm coming as a contribution? Would you receive me? And by the time I landed, everything was different. Everything, those two hours on the flight and with me doing this for five minutes in the flight, 
everything had changed. We had way more signups. We had made way more joy in the creation. We had way more people saying, I want to receive more. I want to receive more. The questions were different. The, the asks were different. The, the possibilities that were showing up was like a contribution from the land. It was like I wasn't facilitating. The land was facilitating through me. That's a cooperation. That totally blew our mind. I think all of us are like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. And that truly, you know, Radhika, that truly is, it is so beautiful and it is so gentle and it is so kind and it is so subtle. And expensive. And, and superbly expansive. But there is just space in that. But how many of you run away from space and fill it up with problems and... I have to do this and I have to fix this and I've got to prove this. So I deserve it. That, <laughs> I deserve it, yeah. So everywhere that you go to the presumptive reality or what you deserve, what you have to prove, how hard you have to work and all the need of the reactive realities with that, would you all please destroy and uncreate that times a godzillion? Bicron, good path, but park on nine shots, boys, for wives and beyonds. One last question. Yes, okay. please. Please okay. go for it, darling. You can ask more. Okay, so I would like to have some uh, guidance. My daughter and I both did the top 20 class last yeah. year. She's yeah. very potent. She can see them like I see you. So um, that is kind of little now, I think, overwhelming her. Uh, what she started doing, she says, when I'm in a room or in school or whatever, I feel I'm not talking to one person. I'm talking to the whole room full of entities, which is very overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So I shut off my awareness because it's just too much. Yeah. I don't know where to look. There's too many people are, you know. Um, how can I help her and guide her? I said, don't shut it off. Uh, she by obviously will not do business. Much. So Yeah, by uh, uh, that's not a great one there. Keeping your business as would definitely change a lot for her, but also letting her know that she has choice. Yeah, so what she does as a choice is she shuts them off and she shuts over her awareness. Is, is, that, is that a creative and a generated choice? Is it a destructive choice? I think, uh, so from my experience, it's destructive because what happens is over a period of I see once a week or once in 10 days, it is so loud in the universe. Yeah, that actually it to sit on the coping head. mechanism, right? It's yeah. no longer, you know, that choice that you think is a choice is not a choice. It's the coping mechanism. But the thing here is, love, that you've got to tell her that, hey, what if you have choice with the entity kingdom, with your awareness? What if you have choice? And what would that look like? I mean, she's going to tell me, what do you mean, choice? Choice to communicate, choice not to communicate. Choice to see them, choice not to see them. Choice to be aware. Again, aware you always are, but choice to see them, choice not to see them. Choice to communicate with them, choice not to communicate with them. And to tell them that I am the source of my reality. I am, I am the dominant entity here. You guys don't get to come to me when I don't want you to be around me. You guys get to stand outside and not in my space. Yeah, that I do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're all welcome. Okay, so I have done talk to the entities, still don't have ease with clearing in business hours. This comes with practice, Mahima. The more you practice with the entity, with the with the business hours, the more ease you will have. And you know, we have this beautiful. Um, it's called the. Um, so blank after these this foundation. <laughs> you know, it's it's the um, downloading exercise. So the more that you practice the downloading exercise, the more expansive you start to be. And the more you start to receive and start to be present with the entity world. So I would really like you to acknowledge what you are being with the entity world already. Like when you've done a talk to the entities class, you're already being something with them. Even if you are not able to 
define it, you still are being something. You know, you've got to first acknowledge that. What am I being with the entity world that I'm not acknowledging? And now, what can I be with them? So that is what will start to create ease. And of course, keeping business hours is a practice. Like I said, sometimes it takes you a few months to get comfortable with it. Sometimes it could take you a few years. But keep going. <clears throat> Suganda, after entity clearing, there's much space and lightness. Absolutely, sweetheart. Mehek, I have extreme potency, but I resist the entity world as they make my body uneasy. Then I land up only working with beings of light. Darling, when you resist the entity world, when you work with the beings of light, is that a point of view of who you're working with? Yeah, I, I mean, beings of light are also, I mean, if you call them entities, everything is an entity. Um, but there, there was a level of ease when I was doing that. But today, there's this choice thing has changed a lot for me. Like I posted the question earlier and somehow, you know, I got attracted to this class. I wanted to, I mean, normally I would attend yeah. uh, much, uh, even the free or paid classes nowadays. But I just got pulled today to this class. And I think this is the thing that about choice. And I also get this that... Um, about boundaries like you know when you allow anyone and everyone as a kid to invade your space and you've not been given that choice as a child I realized that you know last two days I was working with myself with the concept of com uh, five elements of intimacy and comfortable distance I'm like where else am I being comfortable distance what is I, I was just not able to point it and I realized that I was uh, I had created comfortable distance with the entity world. And I have choice. I mean, they have choice. I have choice. And, it's and just you like get to choose. My work. Yeah. yeah. You have choice. They have choice. But you are the dominant entity in your body. Yeah. And I, I honor myself. Yeah. It's yes. about honoring. That me. is the five elements of intimacy with the entity kingdom. Yeah. I mean, that that's really expanded my world today. That I was never looking at... Um, it was looking, it was like my world and their world, this reality and their reality. It was not yeah. one reality. It was not yeah. like, oh, they are entering my space. It was, you know, I have and to, also, it was like, yes. there's this, um, not conflict. There was like, you're up in arms against them. They, that, oh, I have to fight them. I have to fear them. Yeah. I, have to, I have to do something with them. I have to do yeah, something with I mean, them. I Am did, I doing it right? Am I not I doing it I've been right? doing it for years. It's not like, uh, now it's it's been right from the and it was too much and then you get it when you get it <laughs> thank you sweetheart. Thank, thank you so much yeah. you're welcome darling with a sense of kindness with a sense of kindness around me all this oh yes Mansi thank you for sharing that yes that that kindness Oof, that kindness is so huge for me too. That was a, that's been a very big one after the talk to the entities. The kindness that you start to be, and the kindness that you start to acknowledge about yourself. Because here you are being willing to be the gift for the entity kingdom without the need of anything in return. You know, you're not doing, you're not maintaining a transactional reality with them. You're not being like, okay, I'll clear you and you get me money. Okay, I'll clear you. And now you get me participants. You know, it's not about, it's not that transaction. It's just about, okay, I'm here for you now. What can I give to you? Guys, what, what is it that you're asking for? I mean, look at that energy of the willingness for you to show up for them every day without the need for something in return. Yeah, like just uh, what contribution can I be here as oh, really, I just feel very, very happy. I'm just, oh, it, it's exciting me. I mean, you know, from that space of fear, to <laughs> excitement. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw the scared, the scared yeah. Mansi who walked into class and now the fearless Mansi that yeah. talks to the entities. <laughs> Amazing. Beautiful. Yeah, sweetheart. And what else is possible? Yeah. Yes, Pragya, I see your hand up, darling. 
So I have I've always had this awareness with entities and uh, earlier it was just easy because I somehow just felt something that they're there and it was easy. But lately I'm saying that my me or my body doesn't. Okay, my body maybe knows, uh, but I don't cognitively, I'm not very aware uh, anymore. And uh, I've tried to figure out okay, what happens to my body or my space when uh, when they're there or when they're, they're trying to contact me or speak with me. Sometimes I feel my body goes a little wonky, but most of the time I'm not. And I, I tried the tools, but I don't know how to be more cognitively aware of them. Have you done the class? Yeah. Okay. What did you get from the class? Uh, so my, my class was very weird. Uh, most of my access classes, uh, when I do them live, they are mostly like one person class. So there's only so much that I can I can reach to. Uh, That's an interesting that, point of view. I did my first foundation. I was a single participant in class. I received hell of a lot. Yeah, I did. That's what I'm saying. I received a lot. And then it stays with me for some time. Then I was very, you know, okay, this tool and business hours and all that. And then eventually they all just slip off. Mm. What are you committed to? Nothing. I've asked you this question earlier too, sweetheart. Yeah. Nothing happens to you. It's all about what am I committing myself to? Am I committing myself to my choices? Or am I committing myself to the choices that others make for me? If you're committing yourself to your choices, you will always be present with what you chose. Choosing a talk to the entities class is a choice you made. Now, if you're committing to that choice, what can you receive from that choice of being in that class? And what if you're not wrong? What if you're not wrong? What if you're not right? What if it's just about, I don't have the tools. I don't know what to do with this now. So what if you can just look at all the classes that you've done of access up until now. And this, I'd like all of you in class, right, in the session right now, in our call right now to look at all the classes that you've done up until now, whether it was a free telecall, whether it was a bars class, whether it was a COP or talk, whatever, whatever classes you've done up until now. Tap into the energy of all of that over the last few years or over the last few months or over the last couple of weeks, whatever. Tap into all of that and now ask, what can I receive from that that I haven't yet been willing to receive? Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 online shots, boys, boys, and beyonds. How much can I receive now? And now start your day. Get up in the morning. You don't have to attend classes every time to prove that you're choosing greater. I want you all to know that. I did not choose. I don't, I don't choose classes like that. I don't. I choose a class if it expands my world. I choose a class if it's light. I choose a class if my body directs me to it. But I do not disconnect from what I have already attended. I do not disconnect from where I was already receiving. I mean, if you're walking into a COP class, it doesn't mean you have to disconnect from the foundation that you did. Oh, so good. <laughs> it's like, what can you receive from everything, from everybody, from this planet, from the seen, the unseen, the heard, the unheard, the embodied and the disembodied? What if that is you talking to the entities? Not wrong, good and bad, what in fact are nine shots, boys, boys, and beyond. Yeah. <clears throat>
Of course, Thank sweetheart. You. This you all welcome, my lovely Pragya. You can speak in any language that you all would like to speak in, by the way. English, Hindi. I understand Punjabi. I understand uh, Bengali. I understand. Uh, and we have we will have translators for uh, any language that you speak in. I'm sure there'll be someone who can translate it for me. So go for it. <laughs> then I'd like to ask a question. You mentioned about yeah, downloading. Yeah. Um, can we do it every day or still recommend once a week? Maybe. But again, you know, it doesn't go with your knowing. Once a week. Yeah. yeah, go with your knowing. The times when I do it, maybe like a few days, and then I don't do it for the next couple of months. It just doesn't come. Okay. Yeah, you've got to be in the question. Okay. Yes, my dear. Where is best to? Best to best to best to. Hi. <laughs> Go for it. Darling, aapke awaaz nahi aari. Aap, ap, aapne apne aapko mute kiya hua hai. And I will translate best to for all those who are not comfortable in Hindi. Yes, darling. Am I audible? Yes, you are, beauty. मैम मैंने ये स्टार्ट किया था भी रिसेंट में ही और सेवनटीन जान को मैंने फर्स्ट सेशन लिया था इसका फर्स्ट क्लास ली थी बट उसके बाद जो है मैंने कंटिन्यू भी किया था बट नाउ अब क्या हो रहा है कि लाइक मैं जब करने लगती हूँ ना अपने टूल्स यूज करने लगती हूँ किसी और के लिए नहीं अपने लिए भी यूज करने लगी हूँ तो मैं आई स्टार्ट क्राइंग लाउडली और मुझे खुद नहीं पता था वाई आम क्राइंग लाइक दिस like anything i'm trying so best to say is that she uses the tool she starts to cry and she doesn't know why she's crying what is crying in your world good or bad i really don't know <laughs> i really don't know so okay if you were laughing would you have said this differently अगर आप हंसते क्लियर करते के करने के टाइम आप क्या बोलते हैं मेरे को इतनी हंसी आती है बहुत मजा आता है बड़ा मजा आता है मैं हूं। मतलब I asked myself कि why I am crying darling that's what I mean what is crying laughing there's nothing wrong what is that's just your body expressing so इसलिए मैंने ना like काफी time से मैंने छोड़ रखा है अपने ऊपर भी मतलब practice करना छोड़ा हुआ इस चक्कर में So everywhere you've decided crying is bad and laughing is good, will you destroy and uncreate that? I try to be bad, but for online shots, voice, forwards, and beyond, and like Mahek says, maybe ask who I'm crying for. But what if crying is not bad, beauty? What if best to crying is just an expression, an information that your body is giving you? My body cries a lot. a lot if anybody seen me in classes they will see my eyes are always watering in this reality they call it crying but i'm not crying i'm not weeping sobbing but my eyes are just watering and watering and watering and that's how my body releases that's how my body communicates with me and it's not right or wrong right you know often times when we cry from the space of um forcing ourselves to cry us time pe hum jo release kar rahe hote wo actually hum apne aap mein lock kar lete hain because now you can control the release but th that crying is different that crying is a forceful crying ki main ro rahi hu main itni udaas hu main itni upset hu क्यों होता है मेरे साथ इमोशंस एंड उसके साथ क्राइंग दैट इज सो यू कैन कंट्रोल योर रिलीज बट व्हेन योर टीयर्स आर जस्ट फ्लोइंग एंड यू डोंट नो व्हाट टू डू यू लाइक ओके फ्लो नाउ दैट्स जस्ट अ रिलीज लाइक यू कैन कंट्रोल इट जस्ट द वे यू कैन कैन नॉट बी कंट्रोल्ड एंड आई एंड कैन नॉट कंट्रोल द रिलीज व्हेन यू आर लाफिंग ओके स्वीट हार्ट कीप गोइंग कीप गोइंग and ask who am i crying for body what do you want me to know body is there some information that you want to give me okay be in the question and 
the most important thing here is to not have a point of view about the tears. You're crying, you're crying. <laughs> Do you get Thank you so much. You're welcome, love. Okay, so do we have any more questions or are we good for tonight? And I am going to have another, another clarity night of talk to the entities on the 27th of March. So you are all welcome to that one too. Get your questions, see what changes for you. I'd love to, love to, you know, engage more with, with what's changing for us, whether you've done the talk to the entities class or not done the talk to the entities class, each one of you is welcome here. And um, also to share some information, I do have a talk to the entities coming up in Delhi on the, yes, Pragya. Hey, that's okay, you complete, then I'll ask a question. Okay, so I have a talk to the entities beginning coming up in Delhi on the 7th, 8th, 9th. And I have the intermediate class after that. For which the so for the talk to the entities beginning your prereq is just the bars and for the talk to the entities intermediate it is the bars and the foundation both within 12 months and i also have a talk to the entities in rajkot which is towards the end of april and uh don't remember the dates but i will share the dates with you <clears throat> in business or spma Yes, thank you, darling. My business ask you fully. Six, seven, and eight April. Yeah, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight April is the beginning. Businesses. The biz the beginning. Oh, sorry, it's intro yeah. and beginning class. Yes. yes. And the uh, um the business hours is twenty second to the 29th of March at nine thirty a.m. So if you want to join us, you are more than welcome. It will be a 15 to a 20 minute call every day. And we have one in Rajkot, which is on the 24th, 25th and 26th of April. So welcome, each one of you is welcome. And if you have friends who would like to join us, please do share. And what can we create together? Yes, my dear Pragya, and then I'll go to Mehek. Delhi mein kaha hai? Delhi mein, it's going to be in Panchil Park in my house. What are the charges oh. for the uh, business hours? Business hours is 9,500. Yeah. Yes, so, Pragya? Uh, we spoke about commitment and receiving for me. How can I do that? <laughs> <laughs> what if you do not ask how and you ask what choice can I make with this? Every time you go to a how, you know, you're, you're just going to the presumptive reality, darling. Every how is a presumptive reality. I think I don't understand choice very much because there are a lot of things I choose, but I'm not able to actualize them. Example, choice, if I choose a choice, yeah, go ahead. So, example, if I choose a class, uh, some since I'm not earning, so I don't really have the, uh, you know, the money to pay for it, or mm -hmm. I don't want to ask my father to make that extra expense of one night rupees to pay for the class. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So even That's if I choose, I can't actualize it. Do you choose and not actualize it, or do you choose and then put conditions on how it must actualize? both actually sometimes one and you then the other. Put, you cannot do that when you do that you just talk to yourself you're controlling your receiving you got to allow it to show up from wherever it does even if the enemy comes and gives you the money are you willing to receive it yeah <laughs> with money yes okay all right Yes, my dear Mehek. Uh, hi, Chandna. So hi, Chandna. I wanted to ask, um, what's the price of the intermediate? And, and if I've done a beginner's class in 2018 and then 2019, I think, then can I still do it? 
No, darling. The beginner, the intermediate, the prereq is foundation and talk to the entities beginning within 12 months. Okay. So okay. both have to be done. Have Even to the do. talk to the entities has to be done within. Yes, uh, you will have to repeat. No, the bar, talk to the entities can be done anytime. Foundation. The bars. Have. Yeah. So uh, the foundation, if I have facilitated, it's okay. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. As long as it's within a year. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's if you facilitated it. Maybe we'll yeah, have to it should be. Maybe we can find out. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because in, I think September I dropped my license. So it's been a okay. few months. Yeah. Hmm. I can find and, out for you. And the yeah. intermediate price, I will just tell you because we just got the pricing. All the prices have changed. Um, so I have a, been resisting going to a talk to the entities class since 2019. Hmm. I wonder and, what that can change now with you receiving. The and I, last week, I got this thing that I need to attend one. And simply because la, the first and second class that I attended was so horrific <laughs> that I, I was shit scared. I was shit, shit, shit fucking scared that what else will happen. I went through shit through the two classes. And right now, That's also, it's taking me a That's lot of courage. Okay. Yeah taking me a lot of courage to you know um say this that yes i want to do it so in my um, reality every class that i've facilitated i have had people walk in who are terrified terrified and so many of them have gone on and become ttd facilitators now <laughs> so that has like, been coming hello, to me. <laughs> so that has been coming to me that i i will renew my license yes. and choose talk to the entity then you know since how long everyone has been telling me that choose it choose it and i'm i've been resisting it it's it's true i've been resisting it in spite of having so much potency but like i don't judge myself for that yes i was that and i'm okay with it but the point here is that i wish to ask you is yeah like i i choose ease and it makes me uneasy and i'm not choosing that yeah it makes me uneasy. I mean, let's be, I am willing to be very vulnerable. I'm willing to be frank that I don't like it when they come and do tick, tick, tick on my body. <laughs> but they don't I'm have like, to do, they don't have to do tick, tick, tick on your body. If you hmm. are an allowance of them and if you're receiving yeah. them. They yeah, maybe I'm resisting them so much that you have your bad see, right now, can you see, I was not doing all this like right now. <laughs> all over my face, here, there, I'm touching. Yeah. So what, what can change if you start to receive the entities? What can change? Just ask yourself this. Okay, what can change in my body? What can change in my reality? Yeah, I am being in that question that if I yeah. choose it, what would it be like in five years? And if I don't choose it, what will my life be like in five years? Absolutely. I'm being in, and question. it's not that I don't do entity work. I regularly do my business hours. It's I, with my house, with my spaces, my car my furniture everything i i communicate with everything all that i do but still but still there is a <laughs> yeah it yeah. is it i don't deny it what, it, can, there change, is a what can change what can change if you receive them in totality in the question honey don't try to sort it out don't try to figure it out don't try to fix it just be in the question with it there have been uh, instances in the last few months where if, if you're beyond your time, I'm willing to come on a personal call with you. It's Go okay. Ahead. You have another three minutes. Okay. So in the last few months, um, there have been awarenesses about potencies and other lifetimes where I have been extremely potent with black magic, with things which terrify me in this reality <laughs> and yet it's very weird I would, have an infinite a being, would an infinite being require black magic I get it but it is there I cannot deny my past if I see it with my own eyes and my not asking you to deny it sweetheart hmm. no just that okay hmm. interesting choices I made back then use black magic now, do I require black magic? No. Yeah, I'm but that's what I'm saying. I am it's, the magic. I have run clearings on loops 
and I have released it. And that's, I think that is the reason I have the courage now to again venture into that reality. Uh, but I have had experiences with people coming to my workshops, people who are, um, who even my partners with so much of it that, you know, that I'm like, fuck, I'm not going there again. <laughs> but then what not being supported is was. also not fun. On the other side, if I am not, not uh, being that potent bitch that I am, it's not fun. So it's so like what have you defined as a potent bitch? What have you defined as magic? What have I mean, where what yeah. how many points of views do you have around that? What presumptive reality do you have with potency, with being a bitch, with with magic? What if all of this is a presumptive reality that keeps you stuck? Yeah. What if you had no presumptive reality of what potency would look like? What if you had yeah. no presumptive reality of what being a bitch is what if you had no potential had no presumptive reality or what magic is yeah yeah and everything that doesn't allow you to know we perceive and to receive that and to be in question with that would you destroy and uncreate that please yes yes like on good that but all right. Thank you for your questions, yes. everyone. And yeah, thank you, Mehit, for your vulnerability you. and your willingness to, to talk about it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Suganda. You're brilliant. Thank you, my love. And yes, the price of the intermediate is... Let me see what is now. Oh, man. India, 75%. 84,000 is the intro on the beginning. And if you're repeating it, it's 58,800. And the intermediate is 48,500. If you're repeating it, it's 33,950 rupees. I won't let the 50 go. <laughs> 8,000. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank and you, uh, please love. let me know when you're having the intermediate class. I think I will be Lovely, <laughs> lovely. I will see you in Delhi. It's on the... the Yes. Yeah. So you would have to do the beginning. It's it's the three. The you told me the beginning there. is uh, any time before. No, 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 no. The beginning and the foundation is within one year. Okay. The bars is any time for the uh, talk to the entities beginning. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, lovelies. Thank you all for joining us, and we will see you on the twenty seventh of this month again at seven pm. Um, it's a date. Bye, guys. Bye. Good Thanks. night.